Okay, uh, so in this tutorial we're going to see how to create a mid surface in Unity Graphics MXX. Okay. So here I've got a uh, kind of a plastic component I could like anyone could it looks looks similar to a tub. So I'll be telling you how to create a mid surface just using the mid surface option on the surface. So for that what you need to do is um, you need to select your surface option so i'll just right click and I'll customize in order to get these options in my window so okay here we go we got a mid surface over here so i'll click on mid surface and i'll better rather choose uh, offset then right now um, in uni graphics you need to understand one thing if any icon isn't indicated in an orange color means you need to click that first means you need to select that first in order to proceed ahead with that particular operation so I'll click here and I'll click this solid well, this this represents a solid here in this particular option whereas um, right now the button next to that has been activated and it's turned green it means that you need to select a green button after selecting the orange button it means this is one of the fall it's one of the way um, which indicates you need to follow what how you need to follow in Unigraphics right so I'll click here it indicates uh, it, it just tells me to select one of the surface so I'll just click um, just the surface right and I'll make it sure my mid um, mid surface is in position at the center right and uh, confirmation upon apply if you'd like to go ahead with that. say okay now you can see it has been processing and mid surface has been created for you you can see here okay in order to uh, uh, now your solid body has been disappeared it's been hidden so in order to act in order to see a solid body click on here and you could see your solid body here and you can see a mid surface in the center of it uh, I hope. Okay. I'll just deactivate this okay. that process. Okay. now this was the option to create a mid surface in mini graphics under surface option so you need to be in a modeling make sure you need to be in modeling rather than being in an FEM finite element modeling area so I'll just jump on to finite element modeling so that um, I'll proceed ahead with the shell mod shell mesh the particular component okay now here I got a top part I'll just right click and I'll say new FEM the FEM stands for finite element modeling most of the people are aware of it so I got a various solver over here Nastran, um, well, uh, and then Ansys, Bacchus, Palestine uh, is basically used for ethical analysis. The same as Ansys, the, it goes ahead with LS Dyna for an expert analysis. Not much into that, so basically I'll select uh, NX Nastran and I'll keep my units under ML. I'll say OK. And um, now you could see. Um, various commands that is relevant to your finite element modeling uh, has been used basically in, uh, for, you, uh, for creation of your finite element modeling finite element models okay so i'll just select this body it's like this and i doesn't matter i'm not bothered about the kind of analysis i don't carry i'm just going to show you how to create a shell mesh on universe i'll say okay Well, I don't have to worry about the mesh collector uh, and a physical property. I just select the piece, piece shell, and label it. I'll say create. Okay, and uh, empty file thickness. I'll just put it as one mm. In case if I want, if, if there are multiple shells, layers of shells, you can just select them. And I'll just say, I'll select alu aluminium. And you can see all the properties that has been displayed in case if you would like to edit or if you would like to add check it out from library you can, go, you can just click here okay. now you can see um, okay uh, i'll say okay i don't want to go ahead i'll say okay, okay. Uh, it's been created i'll close it i'll assign later I'll assign it later on and i can uh, create a mesh collector well since it's been just one body I don't have to worry much so I'm not bothered with that also so 
So just right click and I'll activate this panel modeling. Okay. Over here, I got a 3D uh, swept mesh, which I'm not concerned over here at this point of time. So I got a 2D mesh, and I have another option called 2D mapped mesh. Well, um, I can just use 2D mesh and create the things randomly. And so it will consist of a uh, hex, uh, sorry, try a uh, triangle and quad elements. Whereas if I click on map, it will basically it, it's 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 top predominantly it will definitely consist of um, uh, chord um, chord elements i'll just show you for an instant okay i'll just put my element size as one okay and I'll just click on the surface so that you could see what i was talking about i'll just create it now. And you can see it's it's predominantly it consists of a chord because I, I have selected a chord basically. I'll just put chord with an eight notes, eight point notes, and I'll just redesign it. But still, you could see um, this is not recommended to be very honest. Well, most of the work we prefer a finite element to be an, in an idle shape rather than rather than. Um, something else because um like uh, when you when like even when you go to a very basic level if you consider a pose has been applied and to calculate stress you basically consider a rectangle section area why because it simplifies you don't have to go for a complicated calculations so that's the reason most of in under most of design they rather tend to uh, consider the simple design rather than having a complicated so for to achieve that you need to I'll cancel it As to achieve this you you need to just split up the faces in a proper way and I'll show you how you have an option I'll select this okay, it is not done in proper doesn't matter I'll select this 